Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, making sense of medicine for the first time in history. Another medical joke is upon us. Today's joke is pharmacology. Okay, we have a pharmacology joke. The story of the geography professor who flexes his muscle in front of a map. What? Once upon a time, there was a strong geography teacher who always liked flexing his muscles in front of a map. In Fleximab. He studies different countries and he's even interested in the versatile biological forms of life there because infleximab is a biological DMARD disease modifying anti rheumatic drug. When I say anti rheumatic, I don't mean anti rheumatic fever, rather, I mean anti rheumatoid arthritis. He likes reading about human cultures and their attitude because infleximab is a humanized monoclonal antibody. What does monoclonal mean? It means it's an antibody against one thing and one thing only. It has one target. This strong professor trains at home. He hates the gym. He hates fitness classes. He's anti-TNF-alpha. He has, or like anti-TNF-alpha is the same thing as TNF-alpha inhibitor. He has tenure and he's bound to his members of the faculty. Because infleximab is a membrane-bound anti-TNF. Because TNF are divided into membrane bound and soluble. Soluble are just floating in the blood like a sponge collecting and attracting all of the TNF rendering them inactive but membrane bound are bound to a membrane such as this famous infleximab who flexes his muscles. Infleximab modifies disease activity of rheumatoid that's why it's a disease modifying anti-rheumatic drug but it doesn't necessarily control the pain because it's not a pain medication, it's a DMARD. So with, with infleximab, rheumatoid arthritis is left to inflict pain and suffering. But this is not very accurate because once you modify and control the rheumatoid, the pain will hopefully decrease. Let's talk about some symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. When he flexed his muscles, he noticed some rubbery nodules on the extensor surface of his elbow because rheumatoid nodules are on the extensor surface and they are rubbery. Then he looked at his wrist to find a piano key sign, which is ulnar styloid instability, and to witness his median nerve entrapped under the flexor retinaculum. This is carpal tunnel syndrome. He lives in America and he believes in e pluribus unum out of many one. Mono one. Neuritis multiplex. Many. Question. Is mononeuritis multiplex a mononeuropathy or a polyneuropathy? It's a polyneuropathy. It's multiplex. It's a stupid name because on one hand it says multiplex, on the other hand it says mono. Stupid name. Whoever invented this name should be hanged by the testicles, metaphorically speaking. This professor is a man of honor who has a backbone, he has a spine, perseverance, commitment and ultimate respect for others because this infleximab is used for ankylosing spondylitis, psoriasis, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis and rheumatoid arthritis. This geography professor likes crude facts. He likes it raw and doesn't watch TV because it leaves him vulnerable to fiction and fallacy. With infleximab, you're more vulnerable to infection because it's an immunosuppressant. At the end of his career, he wanted to travel and see the world to reactivate old memories in company of his second wife, Hepatica, because his first wife died of rheumatoid arthritis, probably due to a cardiovascular disease, probably due to a coronary artery disease, because this is the most common cause of death in rheumatoid arthritis patients. But anyway, with his wife, Hepatica, and his mother, Tuberculina. Because with infleximab, you have increased risk of reactivation of hepatitis B and tuberculosis. And don't forget, in tuberculosis, we use the tuberculin test for diagnosis. So here is everything you need to know about infleximab. Please pause the video for a minute and read it. When you read it, you will remember it forever. Can you mention all of the anti-TNF drugs that you know? Yes, infleximab. Adalimumab, sirtulizumab, and golimumab. All of these are membrane bound. How about the soluble? We have etanercept because etanercept sounds like a receptor, so it's a soluble receptor like a sponge waiting to bind TNF, uh, TNF compounds and inhibit them.
On my channel, I have a playlist called Medical Jokes. Today's joke was number five. And I have another playlist called Mnemonics. And if you love a website just for medical mnemonics, check Picmonic and see the link in the description below for a special deal. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. All of these platforms, you can support this channel on Patreon to get all of my notes and all of my cases and everything else. They are downloadable. You just download them and they are yours forever. Thank you so much. This is Medicosis Perfectionals. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.